we've had recently. It's the most way over in the distance there. I think it's the M6. What a gorgeous, gorgeous morning for a cruise. I'm in Longford Lock. I just got the broom out while well, I was in here, look, the broom. And I was just sweeping down the boat a little bit. And this lock must leak like a sieve because the boat's going down quite quickly here. I haven't even operated the lock paddles yet. I better grab my windlass. And I was sweeping down the boat, just getting rid of some of the debris after the storms we've had and the wind and moored under or near some trees we're just clearing it down a little bit with the broom So how's this then? I've got the broom out at Broom Bridge. now for one of my favorite parts of cruising i'm just going to sit back relax and watch the world go by This here on the right hand side is the Staffordshire Boat Club. This used to be a little building just further up the canal, but the Staffordshire Boat Club purchased this land, or at least it originally, I believe, from the council, is originally the old Hazeltine branch line, or branch canal, which led to the Hazeltine brickworks. Been derelict for many years when the boat club took it over and now it's a thriving community and a wonderful place to moor your boat.
morning. I've been moored up here for a couple of days. We have Weeping Cross to my right, and we have Queensville to my left. And I believe this is the A34 road I'm just about to go under, which is extremely busy. There is, I've moored here right by the road, I must admit, which, okay, it's a little bit noisy, but uh, I put up with it. There's an Audi 200 yards up the road, go underneath the bridge from here, walk up the footpath. You do need to cross over to get back to this side of the road. But the, I recommend if you go across, you use the island. There's a little island in the middle of the road, opposite the Audi car park. So I, I would use that if I was you, use the Audi car, use that to cross, much safer. Or you can walk up this side of the road, but you have to climb up the bank here and it's not so good. Or you walk around the corner and there is a footpath which takes you round the back of this BMW dealership. The only problem with that is it's a little bit overgrown and lots of stinging nettles. Anyway, I'm going to make a move. As you can see, I'm not going very far today. My intention is Tixel Wide. And I believe I have one lock between here and Tixel Wide. at the moment which is a turnover bridge it used to be a water point around here somewhere I believe but I cannot see it anymore yeah nice little turnover bridge look sometimes also called snake bridges Now on our right side. With the towpath now being on our right side, it means I might have to watch out for my chimney because the lower arch of these bridges will now be on my left side, which can affect my chimney if it's too low. So I better keep an eye out for that one. So, Sal, so, the so, aqueduct over the river so. Careful where I'm going, I'm filming. There's a, bridge. There's a boat moored just the other side of the aqueduct. I better get back to controlling my boat. 
to be a beautiful view. It wasn't such a cloudy, damp morning or afternoon. This is the only lock I've got to do today. I'm just filling it up. This one here, Tixel lock. It's just about there now. difference. Yep, she's there. We have six or lock cottage. We're just one mile from Hayward Junction. And I have two lovely, lovely people helping me do this lock. I can actually stay on the boat. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? The help you get on the canal system is second to none. So here we go, then the lock. Beautiful cottage, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. wide here now. The canal has already started to widen out. We have these lovely reed beds. Absolutely quite beautiful. So unfortunately it's not a gorgeous sunny day because this would be quite spectacular I would think. I'm going to be mooring up quite shortly. I'm going to try and moor up just before I go onto the wide. If not I'll try and moor up just after the wide just before would suit me and I think the wide is just around the next corner
just around the corner where I wanted the moor up, there's already a boat moored, so I end up by turning my boat around in the wides and come back to here the moor. Take a look at how I turn the boat. At exactly the same time, a boat coming from the opposite direction decided to turn their boat around as well. So I basically ended up by doing synchronised winding. I thought it was a bit of fun. I hope you think so too. Coming up in a few moments from now. This would be one of those circumstances that would have been great to have got an aerial shot from a drone while we were both turning at the same time but unfortunately not to be and you can see as I'm turning the boat the other boat is turning in the opposite direction here's the other boat just coming into view now in the picture Well, after that little novelty turn, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed the trip. I want to thank, of course, all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, everybody for watching, and everyone for subscribing. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the old bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Well, that just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.